So, you, and I want to get right into it uh, because we don't have a lot of time. We don't want to waste your time. Uh, childhood uh, prodigy, childhood phenom. Yeah. You've been blessed with skill, amazing skill set. Uh, drafted fourth overall in 2017 yeah. by the Jaguars, my old team. Uh, two of those three, they released you mm -hmm. after three years. Uh, two of those three years, you had you went over a thousand yards. So your ability is never necessarily a question. Right. Um, there was some other stuff that came into play, but I read something that said after they released you, you know, because when you're so good and so high, and 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 you're highly touted, you know, you you know, you're on top, you're on cloud not cloud nine. Um, but when they release you, I read something that mentally you had to talk to your mom yeah. to get back in the right mind space because yeah. you weren't used to, you know, what Being had occurred. Being in that position, right, right, right. So, I mean, obviously, like, I got to count the time, I wasn't starting, you know, uh, first time I had to be behind somebody. So, mentally, you know, that was messing with me. Like, each and every day, you know, I, I know, like, like, Roger had the high hand. Roger was doing his thing 100 yards almost every game, you know, things like that. So, man, just, that battle mentally, I had to come in every day knowing that I'm not a starter. I had to come behind somebody and play after him or when he tied, give him some reps and things like that. It was a mental battle for me because, I mean, we go to practice, what, 7.30, I had to call my mama. I called my mama at like 7 o'clock every day. Like, she like, what's going on? I'm like, man, you know, like, I'm on the edge. So like, <laughs> ready to go off. But I just got cut from Jacksonville. You know what I mean? I can't come in here, do the same thing, and I get cut again. So I sure couldn't do that. Right. So it was a, definitely a, a mental part for me. So I, I just met her in there in the kitchen uh, a little bit ago. What were those conversations like? Nah, I was, uh, she used to tell him like, man, man, I'm about to click out in this motherfucker. I'm about to lose it. Like, Cause it was like, you go from you being a man and at this time the world's still talking about, oh, he got, he got cut cause he wasn't good enough. It was never, it was never the talent for Arce, you know, when COVID came, I, I drive an hour and 45 minutes every day work to come out. work out yep. by RC spot from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. So it, it was never no effort. Nobody never outworked me. It's just me and my coach, we just, just, just didn't see eye to eye. You know what I mean? I had to understand the business part about it because when his job was on the line, I spoke up for him. Like, nah, he got a family. That's, but that's what I'm saying in my mind. Like, nah, he got a family. You know what I mean? Nah, I ain't gonna do that to him. But when it came to me, he kicked my ass on the, to the curve. So I was still, Despite of the money and all, I was, I'm, I was still learning, like still learning that you have very few relationships that's real in this game, and don't don't take it for granted. 